Hey guys, welcome to Millionaire by 25. How are you today? So today on this video course, we will be looking at making money with YouTube ads. In this lesson, I'm going to be going over an overview of this monetization method. We're going to be covering how to enable monetization on your YouTube channel, how to make money than most YouTubers, and how to strategically place ads for the most amount of revenue. Well, don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video. The video course will start right after the intro. Welcome back. Now, the purpose of this lesson is to help you determine if YouTube ads would be the best way for you to monetize your channel. First off, how to enable monetization on your YouTube channel. To enable monetization, you have to have over 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers on your channel. And this is in the past years. So in the past 365 days, if you have over 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers, you can enable YouTube monetization, which means that YouTube will put automatic ads on your video and you will get paid based off of the number of views on those ads. So if you meet these requirements, you can apply for monetization and YouTube actually takes around a month to review most channels. But I found that uh, a lot of channels getting the most views seem to get approved faster. Now, someone once talked with a YouTube representative about this and he said it doesn't really matter how many views a channel is getting. No channel have priority over other channels. However, this is just what I have seen in my own personal experience. In fact, one of the shortest times one someone's channel had gotten approved is in just two weeks. And that's a channel that went from zero to half a million subscribers in just one year. So, I think that might have something to do with it. Probably some channel that grow faster, gets monetized faster. Well, but that's just my opinion. Well, right now, I'm going to be showing you how to see if you are eligible and how to apply for monetization on your channel. And to do this, we are going to want to go to our YouTube Creative Studio and then go to Creator Studio Classic. And then we are going to want to click channel on the left hand side here. And then you're going to go to to this little monetization block right here and you're going to click enable and to enable YouTube monetization you first off have to accept the YouTube partner program terms and that's included in verifying your YouTube channel, which we talked about a little bit earlier in the thumbnail section of this course. And the next step is to sign up for an AdSense account, which is pretty easy and straightforward. You just click start and then it says you will be redirected to an AdSense link to link your existing AdSense account or create a new one if you don't have one yet. Once you complete this process, you will be redirected back to YouTube. So we click next. And then when you either make or connect AdSense account, then you're going to want to set your monetization preferences. And I recommend just monetizing all of your YouTube videos and choosing what type of ads will be displayed on your videos. I recommend just choosing all of the types of ads and then you have to accept all these terms of use. And then once you do that and you meet the requirements, then your channel will get reviewed. And it usually takes a month for most channels. Now, let me show show you what it looks like once you have ads on your YouTube channel. I'm going to use this channel as an example in which we have the YouTube ads on. So this is what the monetization tab would look like once you have ads enabled on your videos. So I'm going to show you how ads are placed on videos for the most revenues without leading people to leave the video. All right. So once you have your videos uploaded, you would go to Creative Studio Classic and then you go to your video manager you click the video and you go to this monetization tab right here make sure that ads are turned on for that video and then when ads are on when ads are on that video you're going to want to add the first ad directly after the intro so if you have a top 10 videos or like a list video and right after you get done saying today we are going to be looking at the top 10 fastest dogs for instance let's get into the video and right as you're showing that first dog you're going to 
also want to place an ad so let's say the intro in our example took 34 seconds in that case you would want to insert an ad right there and then what we like to do most times is add an ad about every two minutes this video for example is 26 minutes 30 seconds long so a lot of people do about two minutes some people do more especially if it's a longer video like this so maybe one at 250 two three four and then one at four minutes and most people usually go a little bit over two minutes like i said so that might bring us to five and then i see how that space out you need to check out to see how that space is out so each ad is going a little bit more than two minutes each time until we get that last ad in there and it looks something like this now let's think about this for one second if your video only has one ad in the video then you would only be making money from that ad but this video is going to have one two three four five six seven different ads so this gives you the number of revenues on that video so let's say one ad times the number of ads there if you're making three dollar three dollar times seven that kind of a thing and also make sure that those boxes at the beginning and end of your video are checked as well this will make sure an ad appears at the beginning of your video and at the end of your video and this will increase your revenue a ton as well and this option is only available to youtube videos that are over 10 minutes long so that's yet another reason to make videos longer than 10 minutes now we are going to be talking about how to strategically place ads for the most amount of revenue possible placing ads on high audience retention points will lead to the most revenue being generated from your video i recommend going through your analytics of your popular videos a few days after being uploaded and then looking at the audience retention graph and then placing ads accordingly on that video if you place your ad anyhow you will get your viewers pissed off so if we see that the audience retention graph is really high at a certain point i recommend putting an ad right at that point so they stick to the end of the ad to continue okay so here is an audience retention graph for someone's youtube video on his youtube channel and as you can see there are points in the video where the audience retention goes up so what you're going to want to do on your own video is once the video has been up for a little bit or if you really have videos on your YouTube YouTube channel and you want to implement the ads on those videos strategically and to make the most amount of revenue you would want to make sure those ads appear at high audience retention points throughout the videos for example looking at the graph right here we place an ad right after the intro so let's say we place an ad right here and then going on through the video we're going to want to place an ad right here because you see how the audience retention goes up it actually increases so you're going to want to add an advertisement right here and then you might wait a little bit and this is a super dramatic spike in audience retention and you would want to add one right about there so you would want to make a mark of where to add these ads because you'll have the analytics open i recommend like taking out a notepad and then taking a note so let's say okay we want to put an ad here and then we want to put another ad here or just so you know when exactly exactly to place the ads and take notes changing the ads on your video in no way affects the seo of the video so don't worry about changing the ads placement on your already popular videos and another thing you can do if this graph hasn't yet generated for your video you can place the ads at what you think will be high audience retention point in the video if there is a point that you know the audience retention is probably going to spike i recommend placing an ad at that point because it's the best guess and we don't yet have enough traffic to generate this graph to know exactly if to know exactly if that will be a high audience retention point but if you think that it will i recommend putting an ad at that point so that is how you can strategically place ads for the most amount of revenue on your videos and this will help you make tons of money than if you don't otherwise implement these tips so thank you for watching guys don't forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video and don't forget that if you're looking for a detailed rich course on how to make money with your youtube channel how to grow your channel from startup to monetization stage then click on the description below to see the link to get the course for yourself and trust me you would not regret it see you
see you on the next video course.